Hi everyone, my name is Gon Lee and I'm presenting our work about hypergraph motifs, concepts, algorithms, and discoveries. Hypergraphs are everywhere. Hypergraphs consist of nodes and hyperedges, where each hyperedge is a subset of any number of nodes. Since hypergraphs can represent group-wise interactions among objects, they can be found in many areas in our life. Collaborations of researchers, co-purchases of items, and joint interactions of proteins. In this work, we propose tools for answering three interesting questions. First, what are structural design principles of real-world hypergraphs? Specifically, what are structural properties that differentiate real-world hypergraphs from random ones? Next, how can we compare local structures of hypergraphs of different sizes? How can you define measures that can directly compare hypergraphs of different scales? Lastly, how can we identify domains which hypergraphs are from? Real-world hypergraphs are expected to have different structural characteristics depending on their domains. How can we capture such structural patterns that distinguish hypergraphs by their domains? To answer these questions, we define a new concept called hypergraph motifs. Hypergraph motifs or H motifs are basic building blocks of hypergraphs. They describe connectivity patterns of three connected hyperedges. Their connectivity patterns are naturally represented as the Venn diagram with seven subsets, and we consider the emptiness of each subset to describe the pattern. While there can exist more than 100 different types of patterns with 7 subsets, only 26 patterns remain once we exclude symmetric ones. Those cannot be obtained from distinct hyperedges, and those cannot be represented by connected hyperedges. 6 H motifs out of 26 contain two non adjacent hyperedges, which we call open H motifs. Remaining 20 H motifs are closed. Let's see an example. Given a hypergraph with four hyperedges as in the figure, there exist three instances of three connected hyperedges. Their connectivity patterns are distinguished by different H motifs. Some careful people might ask, why should non-pairwise relations, such as the intersection of the three connected hyperedges, be considered? And the answer to the question is that the non-parallelized relations play a key role in capturing the local structural patterns in real-world hypergraphs. For example, two instances of three connected hyperedges in the figure have same pairwise relations. However, they are distinguished by H motifs where non-parallelized relations are considered. Another expected question is that how can we summarize the structural properties of each hypergraph? This is an important task for comparing hypergraphs of different sizes. Here, we propose to compute a compact vector of normalized significance of every H motif. Here, we show how we measure the significance of each H motif in a hypergraph. Note that we compare the occurrences of each H motif with its occurrences in randomized hypergraphs. You can check how we construct the randomized hypergraphs in the paper. Then, we compute characteristic profiles, or CPs, by normalizing the significance of every H motif. In the later slides, we will show that CPs effectively capture local structural information of hypergraphs. To compute CPs, effective and fast counting methods of the instances of H motifs in a given hypergraph becomes extremely important. Now let's move on to our algorithm MOCHI. Mochi is a family of algorithms for counting the instances of each H motif in the hypergraph. In every version of Mochi, there is a preprocessing step where we project the hypergraph to normal graphs. We provide three different versions of Mochi, one exact and two approximate ones. In the preprocessing step, a hypergraph is projected to a normal graph where each hyperedge is represented as a node in the projected graph. Here, we call two connected hyperedges as a hyperedge, which corresponds to an edge in the projected graph. Mochi E exactly counts the instances of each H motif in the hypergraph. 
It enumerates all three connected hyperedges in the hypergraph and increments the count of each H motif corresponding to each instance. One thing to remark here is that, unlike motif or triangle counting algorithms in normal graph, we have to consider non pairwise relations. To check the emptiness of seven regions rapidly, we utilize the equations here. Mochi A is an approximate counting algorithm. Instead of enumerating all the instances of H motif in the input hypergraph, it samples only a small fraction of hyperedges and then estimates the total counts. Intuitively, more samples leads to better accuracy. In the paper, we show that Mochi A yields unbiased estimation. Mochi A plus is similar to Mochi A, but it samples hyperedges instead of hyperedges. This also yields unbiased estimation with a better trade-off between speed and accuracy than Mochi A. We provide all proofs in the paper and the empirical results in later slides. Now, let's move on to our experimental results. We performed experiments on 11 real-world hypergraphs from five different domains. Mochi is implemented using C++ and OpenMP. First, we compare local structures of real-world and randomized hypergraphs. Specifically, we compare the count of each H motif instances in each real-world hypergraph with the corresponding count in randomized hypergraphs. In the figure, we can see that the count distributions in real-world hypergraphs are clearly distinguished from those of random hypergraphs. Next, we compare characteristic profiles of the real-world hypergraphs. As seen in the figures, Hypergraphs from the same domains have similar CPs. Specifically, all three hypergraphs from the co-authorship domain share extremely similar CPs. Also, the CPs of both hypergraphs from the text domain are extremely similar. However, CPs of the co-authorship domain are clearly distinguished by CPs of the text domain. We compute the correlation between CPs of different hypergraphs. For baseline, we compute CPs based on network motifs where hypergraph is represented as a bipartite graph. As seen in the figure, the domains of the real-world hypergraphs are distinguished more clearly by the CPs based on H motifs than by CPs of network motifs. These results support that H motifs play a key role in capturing local structural patterns of real-world hypergraphs. Conduct two case studies on DBRP dataset, which is a co authorship hypergraph. We first compute the fraction of instances of each H motif in the hypergraph from 1984 to 2016. Our results show that over 33 years, the fractions have changed with distinct trends. For example, the fractions of the instances of H motif 2 and 22 have increased rapidly and the fractions of the instances of open H motifs increased steadily since 2001. We consider a hyperedge prediction task where we aim to classify real hyperedges and fake ones. Compared to baseline features, using features obtained by H motifs leads to more accurate prediction. These results indicate that informative features can be obtained from H motifs. We test the speed and accuracy of all versions of Mochi. Mochi A Plus provides the best trade-off between speed and accuracy. Specifically, it is up to 25 times more accurate than Mochi A and up to 32.5 times faster than Mochi E. We compute CPs by Mochi A Plus with different numbers of samples. Even with a smaller number of samples, CPs are estimated accurately. Mochi is effectively parallelized. Our results show that Mochi achieves significant speedups with multiple threads. Let's wrap up the presentation. In summary, we propose a new concept called hypergraph motifs. Using the concept, which describes the local structure patterns of hypergraphs, we answer the three questions here. This is the end of our presentation. Thank you for attending our talk.